Welcome to Three Minute Thursdays. Three Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. Hello, my name is Zach Dabrowski and I'm a lead flight instructor for UND Aerospace. As we progress into the fall semester, we are entering the fall migration season for birds through our state. North Dakota is part of the Mississippi and Central Flyways, which are major migration routes for birds, such as ducks and geese. As you might expect, bird strikes occur most often during the migratory seasons, which include August through November and March through May. Today, we will discuss ways to mitigate the risk of bird strikes and what to do if a bird strike occurs. More detailed information regarding bird hazards can be found in Chapter 7, Section 5 of the Aeronautical Information Manual. 90% of bird strikes occur below 3,000 feet AGL. However, ducks and geese frequently fly up to 7,000 feet AGL. These larger birds present a greater hazard to aircraft due to their size, abundance, and tendency to travel in flocks. Surprisingly, the FAA has reports of 29 commercial aircraft incurring bird strikes above 20,000 feet, so this information applies to all pilots. When a bird strike occurs, the severity of impact can vary greatly. This can range from no physical damage and the pilot not being aware of the impact to major structural damage and potential to lose control of the aircraft. Bird strikes that occur on wings or control surfaces may damage the structure of the aircraft, potentially causing reduced performance and controllability issues. Birds ingested into the aircraft engines can cause damage as well as a partial or a complete loss of power. According to the FAA, engines are the most frequently damaged component by bird strikes, which account for 27% of all damage. Bird strikes that occur on the windshield of an aircraft can cause reduced visibility, damage to the windshield, injury to occupants, or disorientation. During all flights, pilots should remain vigilant and keep their eyes outside scanning for other traffic and birds. Although the risk of a bird strike will never be zero, we can use the following risk mitigation techniques to decrease the likelihood of a bird strike. The first mitigation technique is to limit the time you are flying at low altitudes. This means climbing efficiently at VY to gain altitude as quickly as possible. When planning a flight, the selection of a cruise altitude below 3,000 feet is not recommended due to the increased probability of a bird strike. Flights in the vicinity of wildlife refuges should also be avoided as they are hotspots for bird activity. The second mitigation technique is one that can be used while in the airplane. When flying in close proximity to birds, they can become startled and tend to dive away from the aircraft. This means maintaining altitude or climbing are the best options when confronted with birds. Now let's talk about what to do after a bird strike occurs. As with any emergency situation, it is imperative that you continue to fly the plane first. Once in control of the aircraft, assess the damage to determine if a landing should be made as soon as possible or as soon as practical. After landing and inspecting the aircraft for damage, pilots who experience bird strikes should report these events. At UND, you should notify the SOF maintenance personnel, and submit an incident report through our ASAP program. Pilots should also file an electronic wildlife strike report with the FAA. Doing this helps UND and the FAA track these hazards, assess the effectiveness of certain mitigation techniques, and identify areas for improvement. A link for the wildlife strike report is found in the description below. Applying the principles we have discussed today can help mitigate the risk of a bird strike. Since we will often not see the bird until it's too late, it is important to consider wildlife hazards prior to your next flight. Remember to climb efficiently and limit your time at lower altitudes during the migration seasons. Fly safe and we'll see you on the flight line. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. Dodge a wrench, you can dodge a bird.
I hope. Can we please make that the outro just for this one?